how could this be happening? I'm not even 30 yet. It was a month before my 29th birthday when I was diagnosed. And when you're in your 20s, you kind of think nothing's gonna happen to you. You don't, that's the last thing on your mind. You're, bu you're busy with your career, you're busy with your building a family. You're not really thinking about your own health. Um, that's something that's so far off and you'll deal with that later in life. So it was life-changing that day. I had so many women reach out to me. One thing they kept saying was, I thought I was alone in this. I thought I was the only one that this has happened to. And that's so not the case. There's a whole community of us that are here for you. And that's kind of why I wanted to start the fund and raise awareness is because I don't want anyone to feel like they're in this fight alone. So the main reason for the fund is to educate women on cardiac health and heart health, and then to raise awareness of cardiac issues that could arise in young mothers and in women in general, and then also to help with that financial burden of heart care. A lot of times from our perspective, from a medical perspective, we think they need all of these things done, but they all cost money. And especially um, insurance coverage these days, you just don't know exactly what's gonna be covered and the price tag that's gonna go with that. It can be very time intensive and financially exhausting for these families. So this is a huge thing. If we can help these families, I feel very lucky because a lot of women don't get that chance um, to do anything about uh, their heart issues because they ignore um, warning signs and it's too late before they can do anything. So that's all what I'm about is saving the mamas <laughs> so that we can uh, watch our families grow and, and be there for our families.